Welcome to my video on how to create a really beautiful design. This dress was my inspiration for the design itself. You see how it's like a teal color. It has some silver um, accents. It was basically the inspiration for my nails. And what I did is I did a, te a teal background with a white and teal flower and a silver accent on the nail itself and then I did sil silver nails on the other uh, fingers that were not accent nails. To start you want to obviously clean off your nails. I use acetone, I use 100% acetone to do so and I just clean off my nails make sure I'm working with a blank palette. This will help the polish adhere to your nails a lot better. Secondly, I went ahead and I applied base coat. I used the SE Grow Stronger base coat and I went ahead and applied that. Next, I use a silver polish for all of my fingers except for my accent nail, which is my ring finger. And I went ahead and applied that polish to all the fingers other than my ring fingers, which are my accent nails. Next, I went ahead and I used the teal color. I actually mixed this color myself and I used the teal color on my two ring fingers. Next, I went ahead and applied a top coat. I use such feet. I always use such feet. I find that it gives a really nice glossy finish. Next, I went ahead and used a white polish to apply the petals of the design of the flower. Here you see on both of my accent nails the five dots. Next I went in with the teal color and I used a slightly smaller dotting tool. And I went in with the teal color and I applied the dots on top of the white dots. Now you want to leave it a little bit further down than the original so that you can see a little bit of white peeking through. But mostly all you'll see is the teal color. And here you see on both fingers Next, you want to go ahead and I'm using some gems. What you want to do is you want to dab a little bit of the top coat onto the center of the flower and gently place the gem in the center of your flower. And here's the finished product. Now, looks very nice as it is. I went ahead and added three little dots on each side of the flower. And here's the finished effect. You want to make sure that you use a nice top coat over all of the design once it's fully dried. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. Also, if you have requests for specific videos or specific designs, please do make sure to comment down below with those as well. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.